In this video, I'm going to go over how to export your film from Wii Video and then upload it to Google Classroom. So I finished my um, film um, and I'm happy with the progress. So I'm ready to click the finish button. And you can see in the top right hand corner over here, there's a big blue button called finish. So I'm going to click on that finish button. And it will take me to the finishing window. And this is where I get to choose the preferences of how I'm going to finish off my film. So um, you can see over here, it gives me a little bit of a preview um, of what one of my screens will look like. So it's going to look like that one there. And then over on the right hand side, I get to choose specific information. So in this box here, I can name my finished film or exported film. In the next box under here, which says export, I can choose how, uh, what format I want to um, export my my film in. So it's a film, so therefore I want it to be a video. So I make sure that this video button is selected. Underneath, I choose the resolution. I always go with a high D resolution just as a default. And then finally at the bottom, I choose the destination, which is where I want to export the film to. And I want to make sure because I want to be able to share this in Google Classroom that I select the Google Drive icon. So you can see the second icon here is the Google Drive icon. And when I hover over it, the words Google Drive appear. So I'm going to click on that one. OK, so that once I have all my preferences checked, I can click on the export button. And this will now start thinking about the, um, the video um, and exporting it. Um, so it might take a little bit of time depending on the size or the length of the movie and what sort of images or things are included inside. So um, you can see it's um, working slowly with the three buttons and it tells me along the top that it's going to take 16 minutes. So I'm just going to fast forward um, to when the film is um, finished and then I'll show you the next part which will be downloading it off your Google Drive. Um, or finding it in your Google Drive and uploading it into Google Classroom. I can play it in here. I can share this link, but the problem with using the link is the person on the other end who receives the link needs to also be on my school account to be able to access it. So I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to find my video in Google Drive. So the next thing I'm going to do is hop over to my Google Drive and I'm going to just go into my recent folder and you can see the film is there. So it says MMK website assignment MP4. So that's the film that I've just finished creating um, and exporting. So you can see I can access it in my Google Drive there. So what I could do from here is I could actually download it from Google Drive into my computer. So the way I would do that would be to select it left click and use the download button there. So once I do that, you can see it's going to download it down, down to my computer and there it is there. The next thing I need to do is submit it to my assignment in Google Classroom. Classwork and find my assignment, which says add video. Now I'm going to view my assignment, the assignment. Okay, so you can see it takes me to this screen here where I can add my video assignment. So I'm going to click on add or create. Now because this is not my Google Drive where I downloaded it to, it won't initially appear in here. Click Add or Create. Now, since my file saved to Google Drive, I'm going to use the first option, which was Google Drive. And that should open up my Google Drive. And you can see my file is there under Recent. So there it is, MMK website. So I click on that and I hit Insert. If the file is not there, then I can do two things. I can search for the file by looking for the name or the file type, which would be video. OK, and you can see all my videos have appeared there. Or I can upload it to my Google Drive. I'm going to use this one there. And you can see it's inserted my video there or um, uploaded it to my assignment. I can now hit turn in because I'm ready to submit my assignment and then I'm going to hit turn in. And this will turn in my assignment to my class teacher.